Hi Joe, and welcome back to Many Homesteads and Honey. I am going to render some honeycomb today. So I have a little crock pot that I picked up at the local grocery store. And I'm just going to use some cheesecloth. I actually use a piece of cheesecloth and a piece of butter cloth. I'm going to put a little bit of water in the bottom of my crock pot. Sorry. put my cheesecloth over my crock pot. It's not on. It's still so I have some honey from or honeycomb from when we did a hive check uh, about three months ago. And then when we did one I think it was a week and a half ago, two weeks. And this is all just hive check honey comb where they built it in the top of the ceiling or places that we just found honeycomb and we scraped it out to maintain. And so I just put the blobs of honeycomb in the cheesecloth. This one may not all fit. I usually smush it down real good. And what the cheesecloth does is it keeps it from um, needing to be strained. So I think this one is going to have to, I think this honeycomb is going to have to be done at least twice before I can get a really pretty disc out of it. So I just smush it down in there because it's very sticky because it has some residual honey on it. And then I just wrap it up like that, just like so. And I smoosh it as much as I can. And then I just turn it on high. Of course, I've got to turn the power on. And then I put the lid on. And in a few hours, that'll be ready. All I gotta do is pull the cheesecloth up and it will be rendered as much as this first go will do. And I'll probably do it a second time just to make sure that we get all the honeycomb clean. Um, I've done it twice before. So this was from a honey collection the first time. And then this was just from a hive clean. And I may throw this one in once this one is done. And yes, it's not going to sit flat until it starts to melt. So, there you go. And I'll show you guys the final product probably in another video. But that'll get you started. So, thanks for joining me in. So after two hours, I come in and I squeeze out the cheesecloth and put it on some napkins. I've got it on the lid as well. And you turn your crock pot off. You, I squeeze mine out with uh, some tongs. Once you use anything for the honeycomb, that's it. <laughs> you have to just use it for the honeycomb. And then in a little while, the wax will harden and separate from the water. So you just turn your crock pot off and let it sit. So after a few hours, it solidifies. And then once this cools, um, I will empty the water, put the disc back in with some clean water, and we'll rinse with another piece of cheesecloth, and we will render it again. That way it's double rendered and it will be cleaner. And I hope that helps you render your honeycomb into beeswax. See ya, have a great one. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.